Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, hope you guys have had a good holiday time. Uh, have been doing a little bit of modeling. Um, been working on the uh, 172nd scale X-Wing fighter from Fine Molds, as you can tell. The instructions have been ex excellent uh, work. I did find actually some uh, English translation PDFs. I'm sorry, JPEGs online where somebody had translated them and put them up on in English. But uh, so far, I mean, it's a fun build. Uh, so most of it is still on the sprue, as you can see, because I have been working on uh, like the control panel here. Let's see if I can get this, get my light over here where it's more in the thing. Let's see if we can zoom in. Nope, that's zooming out. There we go. You can kind of see the control panel there. This is the uh, front part of the X-Wing control panel where it'll sit in front of Luke. You can see his uh, little decals here. These decals are pretty small. Uh, and luckily for me, unlike the uh, Jedi Starfighter, these actually held together when I put them on. This one didn't, this side did not really go on as well as the other side and the center point. But uh, overall, I mean, they, they look pretty, it looks pretty good. Um, been building the cockpit, which will go into the X-Wing, which uh, I think has turned out pretty well. The glare from the lights, I think, is taking, there we go, we can get some non-glare. Mostly just did some candy colors for the buttons, because if you watch the movies, I mean, the buttons are all very, uh, what I call 80s primaries, with the red and blues and greens and yellows. And they just they look like uno cards and so i didn't really go through much there the uh figures were pretty exciting to build they are an inch tall there's luke and wedge uh evidently according to my six-year-old i had to paint the guy who was standing up as wedge because he couldn't obvious luke could not could obviously not be in the uh, x-wing at the same time as the uh as he is standing down below it but these guys I mean look look at how big they are compared to my thumbnail uh, that's that's been a lot of fun to paint uh, and especially even just researching the uh, the colors like I painted the the lenses wrong on the on the uh, helmets they're supposed to be orange according to the uh, the movie but um, I'm not gonna go back and fix that because I think the green, uh, the green looks different than the orange jumpsuit that they're in, and honestly, this orange is just the uh, GW's base orange that they've got. Um, oh, that's the Troll Slayer orange. Is that it? Actually, no, that is that's that is what I painted. I painted Troll Slayer orange uh, onto them, not the base color at all. Uh, for the uh, the buttons, I actually used a lot of these. This is uh, what, Transparent Red by uh, Testers, Model Master Series. Uh, they're supposed to be for like uh, taillights and whatnot on model cars, but, um, but they worked really well with the uh, buttons to give them kind of a gloss look over everything. But yeah, I'm going to be building I'm actually just going to build the rest of it and then install the cockpit and start spraying the uh, the can the rest of it with the airbrush and the canopy. Here, let me let me go get my canopy. Actually, I did prime the canopy. Uh, I did a technique that I had seen a guy do who is light years ahead of me in model making ability. He used what's called bare metal foil and he put it over the whole canopy and then scraped away the parts he wanted to paint leaving the uh, the film over the, the the empty part, the transparent parts that were going to stay transparent and um, just pressed it down. Uh, I pressed it down initially with my finger but that wasn't good enough and then I used uh, a q-tip and it still didn't let me uh, cut along the edges very well with the brand new exacto knife and then found out that what he had done which was to use a q-tip to press it down was the best thing to do uh, make sure you do have something underneath it this is just uh, was it wall tack 
uh, that goes on. This is actually old wall tech that has lost its tackiness, and so we'll probably see the trash can after this. But I've uh, been coating everything with Tamiya's uh, lacquer primer, uh, and that has turned out, that's done really well. It's a good base coat, and then I can get to the, uh, I, I'm using model air, uh, light gray and dark gray for the uh, the fuselage. I, I know if you watch the show, the movies, it looks kind of, and it, it, I've, I've seen other people paint it kind of a beige or a tan uh, color, and that's looked really good, but um, for me, I've got these model color grays around, and so I'm going to do that and uh, see if the model color gray with a brown wash gives me the the color that I'm looking for. Because you know, technically on the on the shows on the movies, they made them they were gray uh, initially, and then uh, they put a brown wash on them and gave them kind of that tan look. So we'll see if that works for me. I've got some of the uh, the MIG uh, enamel washes that after after I get it all painted up and ready to dirty up, I'm going to put on a gloss coat and then put the enamel wash over top of it and then uh, do that, do an enamel wash on it. But anyway, uh, this has been this has been real fun, especially as the uh, the advent of Rogue One has reignited my six-year-old's uh, just absolute fascination with Star Wars. In fact, I'll probably put the initial unboxing on the end of this video with him helping me talk about the the stuff on there and, about, and you, you can hear how excited he is. So um, anyway, I hope you guys are having a good night. Hope you guys had a great holiday season. And uh, I'll see you when I've got some more progress to show. Adios. So what do we need to so talk So this about? is a model, and it's an X-Wing model anyways. It is an X-Wing model anyways, but isn't it? But why can it not be like a TIE fighter or anything? I wonder. Well, it's probably because Daddy wants to do this X-Wing. So... Would that be fun to do an X-Wing? Yeah. Okay, can Daddy talk a little bit? Uh-huh. Yeah, this is my next model that I'm going to build, uh, the uh, Fine Molds 172nd X-Wing model. I'm doing this one now because I kind of want to get into the big Fine Molds models that I bought, but I don't want to start off with them. I built the uh, the Jedi Starfighter the other month and uh -huh. built, yes, I did, it's over there. And I need the painting on that one still needs to be done. Mainly, I just haven't been motivated to do that one. Uh, I've already opened this up and washed all the pieces. Oh, and just knocked a piece off there. Look at that. Uh, washed all the pieces in a large pan, which was good in the long run because when I was emptying the pan out with water, the cockpit piece was sitting in the pan, still ready to be, uh, uh, waiting to be recovered, basically. But yeah, this looks like it'll be a fun model. So I'm going to go ahead and build the cockpit with my helper here. I'm going to do that off, off camera because uh, I'm sure there will be lots of unintentional six-year-old delays. That and I also have to uh, brush up on my Japanese because there's definitely some non-English instructions in here. Which, the sad thing is I don't speak any Japanese or read any. So that is going to be super exciting. Anyway, I will talk at you guys later. And, first uh, step get... is to build the droid. Yeah, the first step is to build the droid. Alright, y'all have a good one. We could do 